So probably that area, there's another one. Cack. End of the danger zone. So basically, this all meant that there was one route here. And just look up a little bit more. Because again, I thought I saw him in this area. But we'll track back up this direction... And then that'll lead us right to the car, but it ends at that point. So with that in mind, that would mean there's probably a route here and a route here and a route there, and you're just supposed to scan right to left, and then, you know, all this stuff you can investigate on side. So re-enter the danger zone. It saves for me. I love how it has the skulls, too. So we're trying to, we're just trying to figure out the mechanics here, so, you know, if you guys want to try the thing on your own, you won't stumble around like I did. Yeah, so, you're right. I did scan that route down there. Um, the thing is, though, they then mentioned that you might have to backtrack, and there's this entire heat trail right here, and they said it can trail off, so just go the other end. So, to me, that's like, oh, okay, so maybe there's another one on that end, but there wasn't. It was referring to the one right there, and there might be two ends on that one. We also still have an investigate point up there that we'll have to go and check. So we'll probably scan another route, get up to that position, and then go. Yeah, you can see that cooking off in the distance. But uh, what you're also noticing is as I'm moving around, so this is looks like this is where it bridges together, actually. Because what that's measuring is those neutrinons or something. I already forgot the term. Um, but... Those, when they come close to the surface, represent a route that I need to scan. So here's the four bandits I shot earlier. Oop! Little camera glitch. Here's the tractor. So that guy's intel. That's how we found the ENVGs. I'm going to look at one of those things with the ENVG. See if it actually gives a thermal signature. I'm gonna laugh if those guys are still there with the fucking van. So we just gotta track all this, essentially. Oh, hello. Alright, guys, I'll give you guys the choice. Do you want me to engage them, or do you want me to tell them to go fuck off, like, south? I'll let you guys choose. One for fuck off south, one for engage. I'm just looking over here to see if there's anything... Wow, it is split 50-50. Ah, uh, fuck. I'll flip a coin then. Heads, fuck off. Tails, murder. Ready? It is tails. We murder. I only count two right now, which is making me a bit uneasy. Because usually they're in groups of four, and if they're the special boys, and it's a group of five. Oh, it's it's a medical group, so no, I wouldn't. I, I don't think I'd be able to tell these guys to fuck off. Oops, saving game. <laughs> Danger zone.
Because I'm wounded, it's making my aim a bit tougher. But that's a medical vehicle, so I'll be able to heal myself. Switch scopes real quick. Oh, right. Thermals. Duh. <sighs> Forgot I had them. Thanks, Gore. Oh, sh. Well, damn. You're a glowy boy there. Hot damn, Paul. More bodies, yeah, so this is this looks like Paul's work. Cause you see the craters. Hell yeah. I can treat myself here. Steal their hats, make them shiny. I like my hat though. Okay, left's clear. We're in the clear. Night Stalker? Nope, NBS. That's kind of fucked up. You have to then clean up all the blood. How many casualties for this one? Four, five, six. Yeah, Paul is not fucking around. Definitely Paul's work. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna backtrack a little bit. What's interesting, I guess, because we haven't scanned that area yet, is I would expect to see one of these come up there because that's where root tip is. So I, I wish they kind of did that to say, you know, that's what we're looking for. But on the flip side, I also understand they probably haven't gotten close enough to scan it because crazy stuff. Yeah, I got full healed. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, Paul shows up on Thermal. So we're going to backtrack back there, and if there's nothing, we'll go push even further, because we're just scanning with Eddie on our backs. But it is measuring stuff in about a, I want to say, 100, 200 meter radius, somewhere around there. And there's, there's our original Vic before we found the tractor! Nope, 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 nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'm gonna just pack my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Oh, I think Dipstick's left with the van, finally. Yeah, according to some of these scans... There should be a route. But also, I'm neglecting that this is out of the search area. So, I think we have to just go check the northern side and scan with the drone. I'm thinking too far ahead of myself. So, it'll probably, with those other ones, it'll lead us to routes backtracking. Yeah, so this is where the van was, because they left their fucking trash here. Uh... Basically, we're going to backtrack and then go close to the ADV. So that should be good. So we're just going to drive in. Those fucking logs appeared out of nowhere, so. Paul's probably... Yeah, we can hear Paul. Let me quickly note that position so that's a full here spot and yeah so this this is all danger zone which makes sense because there's like a UGV up there and shit unidentified frequency drone telemetry yep So we're going to 
stop right there. That's probably, looking at the map, how this is trailing up, this is probably where the other route is. Because there always seems to be a bunch of bad guys by him, right? <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll utilize thermals. I like I like the nor uh, natural vision, but when we get up to a decent vantage point, we'll look on thermal. Okay. So yeah, definitely Lithuanian guys. There's our drone. There's the radio dude. So here's what I'm thinking. He's having bad radio. Tell me who you are! Who's Dr. Lem? Read chat, you nerd. We can't do our music with them. Fuck! They would have. They would have told what the call sign was. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, I missed some of it. Ah. Uh, you gotta get, like, really close to hack it. So they would have. That would have told me who they were. Echo! Okay. Cool. Now we can fuck with them. HQ. To echo. Echo, z tej strony szary wilk, odbiór. Wilk, echo, odbiór. Kieruj się na północ i upewnij się, że twój sektor jest czysty, odbiór. Przyjąłem, wykonuję, jedziemy, bez odbioru. Bye. See, this is, I like how they're making a scenario that I have to deal with. To make them fuck off so I can then hack the drone. I love that. It forces me if I'm playing a really, like, uptight kill everyone game. That I have to, you know, unless I have an RP, uh, a Maz, which I might.
Uh oh. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Oh, come on. It's jamming it. For fuck's sake. That's annoying. No, I know. I'm trying to hack it to make it go haywire and kill all the other people. Because it already showed that as a feature. So that's why I sent the squad away. Because then they'd come back and it would kill them. But whatever. This at least let us go back and we can listen to that entire conversation. Ugh. That didn't work the way I want it to. No, you don't need the other... Oh, no, you're right. I... Was I doing it with the wrong tool? Let's, uh, let's give him a warm might have been doing it with the wrong tool on the wrong frequency. Cack. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Where are they? Oh, they're going. They're going up there. Well, no, because if I if I had the wrong tool, then I wouldn't have been able. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten the option, so I was using the right one. Oh, we can we can play the music on him. Here, we'll have a listen before we fuck with him. Ten korzeń generuje neutrino w niesamowitym tempie, ale nie wiemy dlaczego. Odbiór. Wyjąłem Charlie. Czy coś sugeruje? Charlie. Wiemy tego. Ten korzeń generuje neutrino w niesamowitym tempie, ale nie wiemy dlaczego. Odbiór. To z teorią doktora. Czy to może być jakaś sonda? Odbiór. Twierdzam, na to właśnie wygląda. Są dowody na to, że wewnątrz korzenia znajdują się skomplikowane receptory. Prawdopodobnie pobierają dane z głęby. A czy jego zespół doszedł do jakiegoś konsensusu co do najgorszego scenariusza? Odbiór. So there's another doctor at play here. Być może przed inwazją? Jeżeli to neutrino są formą wiadomości, jak sugeruje dr Lem, to może być to rodzaj kosmicznego wezwania do akcji. Odbiór. Być może będziemy musieli znaleźć sposób na wyłączenie tego. Wiecie jak to zostało wykopane? Odbiór. What was excavated? Eee, nie. Musiał to być jeden z tych pusaków, ale nie mamy pojęcia w jaki dokładnie sposób. Odbiór. So it scrambles with every playthrough. Otrzymujcie ścisły dozór i meldujcie, jeśli sytuacja ulegnie zmianie. Bez odbioru. Yeah, out means they don't expect a reply. So let's fuck with them. Oh, he just... He just spoke on them. Charlie, move let's let's give him a warm Odbiór. welcome, shall we? But they just... But he just called him Charlie. So it was Echo...
All right, that's a little annoying. They called them Charlie in the first, but that's weird. That's a little weird, but, you know, we'll work with it. So we're going to give the noise and just disable the drone this time. All right, cool. Hey, no. you about Jack? Run him over. Redwell. Yeah! Route to a what? Tip. This one's also out the ground. Seems those boomers are really picking up the pace. Oh, and yeah, the LDF are here as well. Over. Roger. Those fuckers are a problem. Try again with the electronic deception. See if you can send them off somewhere. If we can just get one more sample, it might be enough. Out. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to pick them off. Because I just, I don't want to deal with them. Perfect shot. <laughs> Gotta love the AI. That fucker get out of the car? Nope. <laughs> Popped a fucking flare. Oh, there's still a guy running around. Oh, and there's some more. And I only have two mags left. Lovely. What the fuck? What the fuck? Gray Fox. Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Come on, baby. Yeah, this one doesn't work with thermal. There she is. Oh my god, you're making me look bad. It's kind of weird how they kind of reset their stance when they're shot. Ooh, sweet mama. 14 bullets left. Yeah, the thermals really fucking help. Hello there. Have fun with your nap. Floating shit just means there's some fucking paranormal activity bullshit ghosts are going to come out and, you know, eat my ass. <laughs> Alright, so I'm down to 12 shots. I don't know where the fuck my ammo went. Oh! Awesome! When I... That's, that's still a glitch. That's why we put our fucking scope in the here. Um, when you, sometimes when you die, it resets what's in, uh, your inventory.
So we got two more, another investigation point right there. What are you, a TWS thermal scope? Bad. just to shut the engine off. What the fuck? I think the armor's glitched out. Yeah, I can't even put it back on. So, it it's bugged. Hooray. Yep. Huh. It's weird. So we're going to have to pick up this guy's carrier until we can find something different. Not really what I want, but work with what we got, you know? So another Naveed. Actually, hell, this is uh, an entire fucking cache here. We can take a look at some of their things and see if there's anything that, uh, any better armor. That's a shame that that glitched out, but hey, it happens. Christmas in July. <laughs> Send in Goat Team 6 now. Yeah, I know, I, I know. We can pick up more ammo. Cool hat trick. Let me show you mine. <laughs> Bitch. The shotgun's actually pretty cool on this guy. I didn't even realize I was set to shotgun. Yeah, so those are thermal uh, resistant. Interesting. Jaeger, thanks for the 11-month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the ops, man. I hope you're getting a kick out of this. So yeah, let's look at this in thermal. I can't, I can't see Fen. Oh, it's, it's a ring. So yeah, the core gives it, but not really as. Oh, it looks like about as hot as bodies. There's some roots over there that are allegedly super hot too. Huh. Neat. No, don't get scared of me. I ain't gonna hurt you. We're just gonna bring the drone up. Alright. Make love in the stream. Right, Salerni. Sorry if I butchered your name. I'm not the best with names, but hope you keep enjoying it, man. Just trying to find everything, figure it all out. Okay, we got a bit of it. I'm gonna make an exit. Great, way to go. Pick up Eddie and Hotwood. Out. Bloodwell? Hello. It took the chopic. How are you doing out there? Uh, you know, surviving. Corporal Stipe says you took samples from two of those root caps. That will help us assess the danger from alien microbes. Yup, you're welcome. But what about the alien the aliens? You mean as a biofed? It's certainly a concern, although pathogenesis? It requires a certain, uh, affinity. One that's attained after millions of years of co-evolution. And soil-borne diseases? There's plenty of them, and very few are understood. Okay, uh, I think I can see what you're getting at. I don't. Guess I'm taking R&R in &R quarantine. Thanks for the pep talk there, Doc. It's real appreciated. Out. Redwell, just got word from the LT. Guess what? The Livonians fixed the grid. There's power! Generators kicked in at the Lomnitsa substation. 
The electronics still won't work, but the actual AFR towers will. They're grounded. Lightning protection. We can get a message to Yukon. How fucking copy? Over. Solid copy. All right. You got an RV? Over. Affirmativo. Kingsley's got a setup at the transmitter overlooking Camp Kresnik. Start moving. We'll meet you at the fork in the road below. Ditch the robot if you want. We are leaving. Out. I'm keeping my robot. Fuck you. I like Eddie. Yeah, so that was the end of that route. So I'm going to investigate these two points, and then I'll meet up with them on foot because vehicles don't get rolled over. Cool. Yeah. Rest in peace, the go-kart. I didn't even delete that mark, but I left her up there. Go-kart. Yeah, definitely. Best find. One of the best. I'd say tinfoil hat. Best find, but... Uh-oh. Fuck. Chat, I actually don't know what... what those were. I don't know if those were uh, wildcats or... They sounded more like wildcats, to be honest. Oh, Paul's over here. Doing Paul knows what. Hey, you can see him on thermal. Oh, fuck. Noisy fucking script. Yeah, Paul, Paul sounds a bit mad. Shh. Bye, Paul. I don't, I don't trust the dead bodies around here, because Paul, I thought I saw a blue light over there. There's a light over there for sure. Alright, let's switch scopes. Drop that mag, we don't need that partial. Oh, there's a down MI-8 up there. So that would be... About 300 meters up. Yeah, worth a check out. We can uh, scope it from here. Looks like an abandoned position of some sorts. I do like this though. This this could be a really cool asset to you. So AKs, this is looks like more looter territory. Let's see if we can see anything from that tower. These platforms I'm actually really interested in, because these are what we can use to make like elevated positions, you know? Like large AOs with like f f uh, elevated platforms so you don't have to level everything off with like concrete and shit. Yep, so bino uh, Binox looks like an old crash position. What do you, ch uh, what do you guys think in uh, chat? You think we should check that out or you think we should leave it alone? I mean, at the very least, to let me get out of the uh, save zone. Because I'm going to head in that direction anyway. Nah, nothing there. Check it out. I mean, if someone's been up there already and they tell me there's nothing there, I won't bother. But for now, I'm going to run in this direction because i got to save it. A lot of people saying leave it. All right. Hmm. 
Nothing in here. So these assets have openable back doors? That's actually pretty cool. Most people said leave it alone, so we're going to leave it alone. That'll, that'll be something you can go explore if you get the DLC. I'll leave that option for you. There's out of the danger zone, so let's give it a save. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like I'm playing a completely different Arma game with how this campaign's been structured. It feels like a lot better of a game. So I do see a light up there that's directly up to where I'm going. Got no signals. Let's try the short range. But I would love to see a TFAR integration with this and then you can actually like see their nets. Hold up. Alpha. There's a squad of them. So the best thing to do would be to tell them to head east. So first I want to fuck with their comms. <laughs> There's a lot of strange shit on our channel. Make him freak out! Oh, I love it! That's awesome! Alright. Let's tell Alpha to fuck off east. Alpha, Shari Vilk, Odbjur. Alpha, Odbjur. Runek, Shud. Shukai śladów aktywności wroga. There was gunfire in that direction. Bye. I actually prefer doing that in this environment because fighting in the trees kind of sucks. You have no I have noticed in the campaign they've um turned down the difficulty of the AI considerably. Not so that they're piss poor easy. I've been killed a few times. But, you know, they can still see through some of the tree textures, which is just an arma thing. You can't really do anything about that. Too many variables for, uh, for T4 integration. I don't know. I think someone... I would love to see someone turn this into a mod compatible with T4. Because we... What's that? We've seen more complex things made. Let's be honest. And the scripts are already here. You would just then link them up with, you know, T4 stuff. But I, I, know, I see what you're saying. Because then that would have to be, you know, integrated with the TeamSpeak perms. And that would, that would get a bit crazy, you know? But hey, we can dream, right? This is 2019. Any th I've I've seen crazy shit in this game. I know that the modding community is amazing. I mean, for fuck's sake, we have a game where there's um, you know, giant titan warhounds for fuck's sake. Like It's crazy. So we have a bit of a campsite here. With some dried blood. Oh, this is where some of the Russians were camping out. LDF getting some revenge. Oh, baby. 7.62 mags. <gasps> oh, baby. That. We're going to keep our suppressor. <laughs> and it is a camo, but I don't think we can... 
Yeah, so we got to say goodbye to our camo shotgun gun. But now we get... And it's got an ERCO. Oh, yeah. Best caliber, baby. He's got a lot of ammo for it. Or... How much ammo do we have for that puppy? We don't have that many. We'd have... She's suppressed to 762 ARCO. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. But 75 round magazines. And she's also compatible with those. Yeah, we'll we'll go with these. Um However, I want the ERCO on this puppy. ERCO flashlight and we'll take no, oh, we don't need the spare suppressor. All right, baby. Best caliber. Let me quickly look around for any intel. These are some really cool tents though. I do like these shapes. Oh, hi. You guys only went like a hundred meters that way. Well, thanks for not, uh, should not seen me. Bye. <laughs> All righty. So now we just have to rendezvous with our team. So how are you guys liking the campaign so far? I know this is just, you know, watching it, but I'm again, I'm liking it, liking it a lot. A lot of cool features here. And this is only mission four. I think there's two more missions left. So one where we're going to try to get home, which I hope is like a focused combat mission. Because I could use a break from all of the exploring and looting and stuff. I think a uh, on-the-rails combat mission would be perfect for right now. Just here for the tin file. You missed the cart. Murder time. <laughs> uh, what bog? What's that? Um... There is a bug you cannot scroll wheel to change mags at the moment with contact. Ah, that's fair. Yeah, so she's got two round, one round, and auto. I like that. I like that. Yeah, so alpha, alien entity. Oh, stuck in a tree. Heck. Yeah, it, it is annoying that we had to drop our armor because it bugged out. But thats I don't think that's a contact issue. Because I've had that um, issue with that exact same piece of armor in the uh, Apex campaign. Which I played through actually only a few months ago. Yeah, suppressor's equipped. You can see it on the front. You're right, the RPK could be seen as unnecessary weight, but it has 75 round mags, and it's 7.62. So this is going to be the deadliest assault rifle I get. Also, I got an ERCO for some decent uh, medium-range engagements. If I need to, I can throw the, um, the other scope on it, which can give me up to 11 times magnification. So this is pretty good. It's just, again, we're not really doing a build where we can use rocket launchers, but I haven't really seen the need for it just yet. But we do know that the LDF do have uh, moras and stuff. We saw a truck full of them, uh, or uh, a warehouse full of them that got blown to smithereens. But I'm kind of banking on the fact that since the Spetsnaz are around knocking those positions out, we won't really run into them. The regular AK-12 can take drums? Yeah, that was... I was thinking about that. and Yeah, oh well. So I'm not picking the, like, you know, best up-to-date things. You know, it leaves room for you guys to go pick them. And I've probably missed one or two things along the way. Yeah, doesn't the AKs met people beat me to the punch? But hey, at the very least, it means the vanilla ops, if we decide to incorporate contact, or really any uh, operation, it'll be cool. Because like I said, I'd love to have a T3-themed... 
that campaign. If people don't have contacts, I can try to get it for them. Hey, boys. Well, that's a pretty gay gun you have. Rain. I mean, mine's better. Still awake, pal? Yeah, rough fucking night, huh? Jack needs you for some shit. <laughs> Did you crash? <laughs> they crashed their car. Hey, you good? Yeah. Where's Sapphire? They're already up the hill at the radio tower. And the LDF? I don't know. They just went. Can't you leave the damn van? No, we need it. If we're gonna get out of here, it's gotta be incognito. Baker's just fixing the flat. Go on ahead. Find Lieutenant Kingsley. Tell him we're on our way. All right. Let's see. It's up there. Yeah. One second. One second. Beer. Alright, sorry about that. Just taking care of business. Let's put that back. Alright, favorite heavy vehicle? I, in the tanks DLC, fell in love with the T-140. It's, it's just such a badass. Just dex things, you know? So, we're supposed to go up here. Up there they are. Hey, guys! Maybe you Try to fix it. <laughs> How you doing? Lieutenant Kingsley. Jesus. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, likewise. You're not with the corporal? No, he's at the intersection, bottom of the hill. Should be here any second. We got a flat. You get any data? Samples. From the underground routes. In case they're a bio threat or something, I don't know. No, that's great work. So yeah, we got backpack. power now. Yeah, just got to flick the transfer switch. It's still routing from the emergency generator, which was out of diesel from the get-go. Honor's all yours. Throw the lever on the wall over there. I... I don't like it when you put it like that. Armed Forces Radio, live on the air. Okay, you may as well finish the job, Rudwell. My gear's in that two-story building. There's working tech left over from our first attempt. Access my laptop, then click on the red on your keyboard. It's an improvised arrangement, but it should do the trick. Hope you're right. We just lit ourselves up like a Christmas tree. So this is kind of cool. So while we were we were busy doing stuff, they um, they built this little position here. All right. Red button and shit. Here goes. Alchemist, any station? Flash. This is an emergency broadcast. <laughs> Save game. <laughs> Disrupted. Severe damage to all communications. Lieutenant Kingsley. Corporal Snipe. Don't shoot. Oscar. Coming up on the compound, south side, civilians in tow, and uh, yeah, we got company. There's a boomer, inbound. Looks like you got his attention. Over. Get him inside your head. Visions he's sharing? He's gotta be trying to tell us something. Yeah, like, piss off. I don't need this thing rearranging my brain, Jack. Just do it. This is our last chance if we want to make meaningful contact. All right. For effective transmission, you position yourself inside the anomaly zone. Pushing too close, the ET seems to... 
or less oh friendly God. response. We got eyes on. R O E. Nobody fire unless fired upon. Corporal, take your thermals sides, this time. Bro, do that okay. thing. Uh, it's main backing signal, but it does not appear to be related to comms. Uh, secondary data signals get transmitted in a certain order. Our best guess is to transmit anything on those same frequencies in response. Cases we may discover a pattern. Well, on purpose, not ET is reacting also to light with some and even on some roads. So basically, we'll give it. We'll give it music. Oh, that's the AFO, CAC. Um. There we go. Let's try this one. Okay. This is a really cool feature. Okay, so maybe it's He's literally just playing around with it. Maybe, maybe it wants, it wants to matter. <laughs> this is how we talk, you know, it's, it's been a while with Paul, but you know, he's getting things together. So let's try this one now. To this one. He stopped pulsing. Okay. okay. Interface, Interface with him. Move, Move up. up. Careful, all right. All units stay calm. So you gotta switch it back triggers and forth. Cool. Off triggers. Uh. My ears! So it's a bunch of them and they're all connected. And it showed up blown up ship thing. His voice, eh? Hi. Baker, you coming round? Rudd, man, talk about taking one for the team. Jesus, my head. You hit it when you fell. Trust me, <laughs> you'll live. Come on, up and at him. Yeah, if it wasn't for the tinfoil hat, I'd be dead. Ooh, good thing I wore it. How long I've been out? Long enough. The boomer's gone, and the Russians are here. Yeah, and worse, they're not the fucking problem. We're on a razor's edge. You, me, them, all of us. Oh. I saw the mothership. <laughs> Captain Severov needs to speak to you. He's having trouble explaining shit in English. Captain who? Captain the guy that Severov, locked us in the fucking thing. The, <laughs> the Russians. <laughs> now the Russians. <laughs> 
God, this this is literally just like CTRG stuff. Силы Ливонии перешли в наступление. Для проведения в действие плана Дитя Грома к нам присоединится группа американцев. Еще люди нам не помешают. So they need us. Okay. I'm like, I like this turn. You are specially Trudwell? Yeah. It's because I grabbed RPK. 220 sort special purpose detachment, Russian Federation. Далеко вас от дома забросило, капитан. So it's true. An educated American. Мы все далеко от дома, дружище. Слышал, что вы нашли хорошее применение нашему нейтринному детектору. Ты знал, что все корни соединены между собой? Что у них есть ядро? Ты знаешь, почему я здесь? Почему они тоже здесь? Доктор Кэссон, explain danger of core. Rodwell, lad, you remember in 2020, a meteor hit all of them. So he's been playing all the fucking sides. Oh, don't tell me it wasn't a meteor, Doc. Aye. Ruskies were drilling for oil? Found what you find here. Only what they had. It was defunct, crushed by the movement of tectonic plates. The whole thing had biomineralized. Huge cover-up. The roots were connected to a central device, a hub, a node, part of a cosmic communications network. Plans Powered what by we exotic saw? energy, non-baryonic matter, negative mass. They break open and boom! 30 megaton explosion. And that one, it wasn't even bloody active. Imagine what this could do. Goodbye, Livonia? Yeah, maybe. That's if we're lucky. And if we're not? Hell, then all bets are off. You ever hear a bubble nucleation? The visions. Whoa! Uh-oh. Livonian Defense Force, they begin. Begin what? Our mutually assured destruction. Captain, you guys have a contingency for this? There a plan? Plan? Yes, American. Only not good. We separate. Three teams. Ваш лейтенант возьмет один отряд, чтобы ликвидировать артиллерийский расчет на гребник северу отсюда. Капрал возьмет другой отряд, чтобы оттянуть на себя подкрепление. Все остальные атакуют заводы, захватывают ядро, пока еще не слишком поздно. That's why the Soviets have been hit and stuff. They don't want this for themselves. They're trying to stop the Livonian Defense Force from doing this. Stupid shit. Okay.